Is this crazy story? The Wall Street Journal looked at this. Previously, we reported that thieves are stealing people's iPhones and passcodes. New warning about iPhone thefts connected to your passcode. And then taking over these victims' financial and digital lives. That was chapter one. This is chapter two. Uh, I went to visit my buddy in Chicago, and my phone was stolen. And the thieves were able to generate a recovery key which would lock me out of my, my iCloud account. I'm willing to do anything possible just to get my photos and videos back. Thank you for contacting Apple support. Can't access iCloud account. My inbox has been flooded with notes from people like Greg who can't get back into their Apple accounts to access years of photos, videos, and more. It's the collateral damage caused by a hidden iPhone setting enabled by the thieves. The killer has been the recovery key. So I dug into the secret setting and found out that it's flawed, big time. Thieves committing crimes like this across the country use the passcode to turn on the recovery key before they steal money from apps on the phone. This way, the owners can't remotely get back in to wipe the device and use Find My iPhone. To understand how thieves exploit these vulnerabilities, think of your Apple account like a house. The thieves get in and then keep you out by changing the main lock on the front door, your Apple account password. Yes, with the passcode to your iPhone, they can change the Apple account password. It's a major vulnerability in itself, which I talked about a lot in that first video. Now, if a victim wants to get back in, they go through account recovery, AKA the old forgot your password reset process. Apple will ask for your trusted phone number, Provide that and a texted code, and you should be able to create a new password to unlock the front door. But many of these thieves put up more barriers. They change the trusted phone number and or create a recovery key. Under settings, Apple ID, password and security, account recovery, you can turn on a recovery key, which creates a unique 28 character code. It is now needed to get to the step of changing your account password. If you don't have that code, Apple says you could be locked out of your account permanently, AKA the door can never be opened. When you call Apple and you tell them you don't have the recovery key, what do they tell you? To an extent they told me, you know, too bad, so sad. There was no possible way to regenerate the recovery key or to get access to my data without that specific recovery key. Contacted Apple support, um, many levels tried to escalate that. I've went through Apple Legal, who pushed me back to Apple support. I've spoken to many attorneys trying to figure out a course of action to get my data back. When I reached out to Apple about all this, a spokesman said, we sympathize with people who have had this experience and we take all attacks on our users very seriously, no matter how rare. We work tirelessly every day to protect our users' accounts and data. And we are always investigating additional protections against emerging threats like this one. The recovery key was supposed to add extra protection to your Apple account from online hackers, but there's a big flaw. Even if someone like Greg already had the setting turned on, a thief with the iPhone's passcode could create a new key right on the device, which would replace the old one. Apple designed this as a convenience measure for people who misplace a previously generated key. Fundamentally, account recovery is about proving that this account is yours. Greg and many others I've spoken to have offered Apple other forms of identification to prove that. I've been willing to give Apple any piece of identification or verifiable information that I am me and this is my account, whether or not that be my ID, my passport, my social security number. Of course, there's a reason Apple doesn't keep your social security number on file privacy. There is one thing you can do right now to prevent this from happening if your iPhone were ever stolen. Go to settings, screen time, use screen time passcode, and create a passcode that's different from your main phone passcode. Now go to screen time, content and privacy restrictions, then turn on this switch. Scroll down to the allow changes section where it says account changes and select don't allow. Now, a thief wouldn't be able to get into this area to change your account password or turn on that recovery key. They would need that screen time passcode. But clearly, there is far more for Apple to do here to protect us from crimes like this. 
The recovery key policies should be changed so that it's not the only way to get back into an account once it's activated. And Apple should certainly restrict the recovery key from being so easily deleted or regenerated by someone who has your phone and passcode. And Apple should provide another way to confirm people are who they are, possibly by accepting government IDs. Ultimately, this entire crime is based around Apple loopholes. A stolen phone, passcode, and tap of a button shouldn't mean fighting one of the world's largest companies to get our memories back. At this point, I'm willing to offer Apple whatever it takes to get my pictures and videos back, whether it's tens of thousands of dollars, a retina scan, a DNA test, whatever it takes.